What's up everybody, in this video I'm going to go ahead and show you how to copy samples from your computer and put them onto your SD card that's in your Akai Force. And I'm going to do this in computer mode on the Force. Now I'm assuming that this process is going to be the same no matter what kind of device you're using in the Force, whether it's an SD card, USB flash drive, or an SSD card. In this example, I'm using the SD card. What I did is copied the samples from my MPC and I put them onto my computer. So what I'm gonna do is put the Akai Force into computer mode. The SD card is already in the Akai Force and I'm already got a USB cable right there plugged in. So let me show you this again. So if you're on the matrix here, if you push menu, you can see right here, there's a computer icon. If you tap that computer icon, it's gonna give you the inner computer mode option. All right, so once you get this option, go ahead and tap computer mode. It's gonna take a few moments and then it's gonna start loading into computer mode. You'll see a hourglass on there. All right, and then it will set up in your computer the first time that you do this. All right, so once that's done, it's gonna automatically pop up with your drive. You can see here it says USB E drive. So this is gonna be my SD card. So I'm gonna make it super simple. I got the samples in this folder here, so I'm going to pull over this samples folder. It says copy to USB drive. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and copy that over. And it's gonna take a few minutes. Um, I believe it's almost 16 gigabytes of samples on here. So it's gonna take a few minutes to copy that over. All right, so the transfer is complete. So if you look here, all the samples should be in here. I got a bunch of samples in there. Um, a bunch of empty files that I just set up as well as you can see um, you can see here I got these from NPC samples all right so all of these are in here and I even have a couple breaks in here that I recorded all right so what I'm going to do is go ahead and eject this USB drive Okay, now it says safe to remove hardware. So what I can do is come back over to my Akai Force, go into standalone mode, and it's gonna ask if I safely removed all the drives. All right, and then I'm gonna push yes. So now it should bring me back to the Force screen here. You can hear that it disconnected. So you can see here the force restarted. So I'm going to go to an empty project um, just to make the process quicker. Go to menu, go to my browser. Now, whenever I go to places, I should be able to find those samples see, right here, samples. So this was a brand new drive. I didn't rename it or anything. So that's why there's just numbers there. But let me go ahead and open that samples folder and see you know, if these samples show up and they do. Look at that. Let me see if, um, you know, what happens when I push load. It said it loaded it. Let me go to my menu and go to my sample edit. And there it is right there. So there you go. That's how you transfer files from your computer onto a drive that you might have inside of your Akai Force. Just to recap, if you go to menu and tap right there, that gives you computer mode. And then once you enter computer mode, everything should show up inside of your computer. So you can just go ahead and transfer whatever you need to. All right, cool. My name is Matthew. I'm going to do a bunch of videos about the Akai Force in the next coming weeks. So go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you're new here. And check over here. There's going to be a playlist. I'm going to add a playlist right there. And that's going to give you all of the videos that I'm making about the Force. So basically just going to get as much of this content out there as I can. So go ahead and check out that playlist. All right, catch you in the next video and we'll talk soon.